What is up guys, welcome back to another TBC Classic gold farming video. So today we are once again taking a look at, well, both herbalism and mining actually. And I've made what I think is an improved route for both of these things. And we are making an absolute ton of gold per hour. So I'm just going to finish this place right here. We have two more minutes on my one hour test. And we'll talk about the farm itself as well when we have grabbed this one flower. Because then we have quite a bit of way to fly right after this. We might also not have time to do anything after grabbing these. But I'll try my best. So this farm right here is basically you are hunting for mana thistles. One very cool thing about mana thistles is that they can only spawn in level 70 zones. Or level 70 places. Where you pretty much have to have flying to go there. And you also obviously want to be level 70 because the mobs are level 70. Just to keep my bags clean, I'm going to throw away this nether weave cloth right there. So we only have herbs and mining ores and stuff in our bags. So yeah, they can only spawn in level 70 places. Or places where you have to be level 70 to get to. So you you have, you need that flying. So as a level 68 druid, you can technically go here. But the mobs will be level 70, 71 and even 72. So if you are level 68, you will have a much higher aggro range. And also a tougher time killing the mobs. I would definitely recommend being level 70 and for the sake of actually using this farming route as well you would need or want to have epic flying to make it more eff efficient but the thing is you don't need to have epic flying it's just like it might give, make it a little bit better but when you have epic flying you will spend more less time moving around and sometime you have to wait for respawns on the mana thistles so the farming route itself the one i've been using is this one right here which is basically just a mining route for Tarakar Forest, but also improved to include the two specific locations where you can farm for mana thistles. So you basically just run laps around the entire zone. The red spots are where you are basically doing mining in between. So you need to do the red things or to fly on the red spots and do mining in between to give the mana thistles some time to respawn. And then just fly in between the green zones, but also do some mining in the downtime. So my one hour test is now done. I didn't do anything except taking up those two flowers. So this is my bags. After two hours, uh, one hour of farming, we have 40 mana thistles, which is absolutely insane. They go for quite a bit. For those of you who are not sure about what mana thistles are used for, you basically use them in creating flasks. And you need several, I think it's three of them per, per flask. You also use them to craft cauldrons, which is also used for flasks, so they're needed in flasks. They are pretty much the Black Lotus equivalent for TBC if you ask me, because they have a very limited amount of spawn locations. You have two different locations in the ground with two spawns each, so there's two up here and two down at Skatis. They also have a respawn timer, so you have four different spawns. They have about a 10 minute respawn maybe, 5 to 10 minutes. So it's a very limited amount. You have two spots in the ground as well, up at the Twilight Ridge, as well as uh, somewhere in the middle over here as well. You have one spot, I believe, in the Shadow Moon Valley, which is all the way down south or southeast. And yeah, you have very limited locations to farm this item, meaning it's actually very limited supply. And based on the fact that they're used in crafting flasks and also cauldrons, the demand will be massive when people start needing those flasks and cauldrons. So this is an item that already is worth quite a bit. Actually only 20 gold each right now or last time I checked the auction house. But to be honest I think it's going to keep around that value as well. Because even though I'm getting 40 right now per hour. That is also me farming Tarokar Forest pretty much uncontested. I do see one person at Skatis every now and then. And sometimes when I fly to Skatis. Only one of the spawns are up instead of both of them. So I do feel like I have a little bit of competition, but the second you have even more competition than I do, then the, the individual gains will be far less. And I would imagine at some point throughout the expansion, you will either have bots or real players camping in Skatis just to look for the spawns. And all the way up here as well, you will, you will have people camping these spawns. So I'm really excited to see the value of Mana Thistle down the road. But I did manage to get myself 40 of them in one hour here. Now one cool thing I'll show you at the other location as well. Just give me one second, I'll fly there. 
So basically, this is the second location in Terrocar Forest where you can farm for these uh, mana thistles. And one cool thing about this place is that Skeptis is used for many different gold farms. So if you play the right character and have the right professions, you can use this to make gold in several different ways. You can fish for brackish mixed tools or something. Actually, it's called Highland mixed tools, I think. So you can fish for those and get some special type of fish that is worth a lot of gold as well. And you can also kill those giants like the one I have targeted. And you can actually herb those giants and loot those as well. So if you kill this one right here, it's a level 71 elite, so you will have to be ranged or be very good geared. But certain ranged classes can kill these solo pretty easily. Like a mage, for example, can kill these very easily. You can then loot them and also gather herbs from doing herbalism on these mobs. So killing one of these can also give you mana thistles. So you can get a lot of mana thistles by doing that. And killing that one right here will give you every single herb in the game. But I'll actually make an individual video about that as well very soon. Either I have uploaded that one already, or I will upload it soon. It kind of depends on which one I make first and which one I upload first. But that is a very good gold farm as well, so you can do that one. And yeah, that those are both the locations to farm the, these mana, team, uh, mana thistles. And they are worth a lot in TBC Classic. So before I go, I want to show you the exact value from one hour of farming as well. Because I did some mining in between, but most of the gold will come from mana thistles. So without further ado, let's go to Stormwind. So while I'm flying to Shatrath real quick, I'll talk about two things. First of all, some of you might be either irritated or you're wondering why I have the actual map all the way down here. And that is because when I'm farming, I feel like it's much easier to keep my eye on the minimap when it's centralized on the screen, instead of having it all the way up here. So I'm using an add-on called Sexy Map, which first of all gives your map an actual glow effect to it, which, well, it, it's there, right? It looks cool. But secondly, it hides all of your add-ons around the minimap as well, and it lets you literally just click and drag it wherever you want. So you can have it up here, you can have it in the middle, or you can have it right below your character, like I've chosen to do when I'm farming. So that's it for the map, and secondly, um, I actually took the farm about the giants from Student, I've been watching him on Twitch, and he made a video about this yesterday as well if you want to know more about those giants. And also I want to shout out the Zero to Gold Cap uh, from Student as well, the complete gold making guide for TBC Classic. You can find the link to that one in the description. And by using my code, which is Stolheim, you can save 50% off on the purchase. Now the farm for those mana thistles by those giants was in that book as well before it went on YouTube, so you can get yourself a head start on certain gold farms. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so here we are at the Ocean House, we are checking out the total results from one hour of farming. And basically, when we made 720 gold from mana thistles, as we got 40 of them, we are going for 18 gold each. So 720 should be about right, based on that math. Yeah, 720. So you made that much from mana thistles, and I'm not going to count everything else, but I have already used a calculator for this. But I'm just going to show you the prices of different materials. So if you want to pause the video so you can see that I'm not making anything up, then, well, there you go, just pause the video and check the prices for these materials. But basically, we actually made 899 gold from one hour of farming, which is absolutely absurd if you ask me. That is a lot of gold. And I have a feeling these mana thistles will keep their value and maybe even go up in value as well over time. Whether or not they will go up in value, I'm, I'm actually not sure about that one, but they should keep their value, because 18 gold per mana thistle. So it doesn't sound like too much when you can make a lot of gold as a protection paladin later in TBC anyway. And the thing about mana thistles is that they have a very limited supply, because once again they only drop in certain places, and there's only so many of them available. So yeah, that's pretty much it, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you have maxed out herbalism, and you also have epic flying, and you're also level 70, go and grab some mana thistles. It's absolutely insane, you can make a lot of gold with it. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below, leave a comment as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.